Hi there, and welcome to my 2014 desk tour. Uh, let's jump in and get started. So first of all here we have uh, my 15 inch late 2011 MacBook Pro with the Intel Core i7 2.4 GHz processor and it's been upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM and it's got a internal 750 GB hard drive. So this is a great machine, I've had this probably a couple of years now. I thought about upgrading maybe to the one with the Retina display um, but I don't think I need it at the minute. Um, mainly I'm using the Thunderbolt display from at the desk um, so no need for it at the minute, uh, but it's something I'll probably think about in the future. Let's see what, just keep me out of what Apple are going to do with the MacBook Pro range uh, over the next couple of years. Next we've got a lamp here that's just it's just sat on top of Sonus box at the minute. I need to get something else just to just to just for that to sit on. Um, it's got a few leads coming out here. I like minimal leads possible coming out of this. Um, so it's connected, it's just got the Thunderbolt lead and the power lead and it's just got an audio lead going in for the sound system that I'll show you in a bit. So just move over to the Thunderbolt display, and this is a 27 inch, uh, it's a fantastic screen, fantastic display. Um, I've had this probably, I don't know, a year and a half maybe, something like that. I got this after I got the MacBook Pro, but yeah, it's uh, it's brilliant for, you know, everything really, gaming, watching movies, uh, Netflix, etc. And also picture and video editing, um, nice, nice big display. Um, so here and then we have the um, Apple uh, wireless keyboard and then underneath we've got a uh, Montblanc pen here which I use a lot, uh, it's a fantastic pen this, um, they're quite expensive but it's very nice writing, we've got Apple Magic Mouse and we've got a Western Digital 2 terabyte uh, hard drive there, um, that's for the backups. Um, so let's have a look here, just sit down at uh, what's probably underneath. Got a Dyson there, um, used for cleaning up and you can use the brush tool as well for on the desk and just uh, hoovering on the keyboard as well. I've uh, got two drawers on the desk. In this one um, I've got some little speakers at the back there, I've not really used them much. Um, some Beats headphones there. I don't really use headphones that much, it's just the cheap cheap ones there. Um, some cables at the back, Thunderbolt cable. Um, sorry, uh, lightning cable there. And um, just a little USB light thing there. Um, some stuff and some iPhone 5 and 5S cases. Uh, a little mini tripod and uh, another sort of video camera there. So that's that drawer. Uh, next drawer, we just got a lot of the documents and pens and books and all this other stuff in there. Uh, and also there's a, uh, it's a 250 gigabyte um, external hard drive, which basically I don't really use. It's connected up to the to the display but um, it was used for my Windows computers. I had a Windows laptop and Windows desktop on here before um, that I've completely got rid of now. Um, so everything that I have now is sort of Mac based. Uh, it's probably the best decision I ever made and I would recommend anyone doing it in the future who's looking to do it. So just moving along we've got the uh, got my iPhone 5S um, so I've got this, I've got this cheap black case on I use for work. I'm just testing this out. It was very cheap off eBay. Um, and I felt I'll probably put this link in the description for this case. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a little magnetic clip on the side. Um, so, so that's that. And then I've got the Belkin charging uh, charging sync dock here uh, to charge the iPhone 5, 5s. Uh, so up here we have another lamp here, LED lamp. Um, I've got a, uh, it's just a basic stand um, for, uh, for my iPad and an iPhone. And I've got my Sonus Play 1 wireless speaker which uh, makes up uh, part of the Sonus system we've got in the house. Then I've got um, my iPad Air, it's actually sat on this uh, book arc here which is mainly for 
my MacBook Pro when I have it closed and in, uh, sort of in clamshell mode and I have that docked at the side uh, sort of the side round there when I need it uh, and I've just got a uh, printer here uh, just an Epson printer, very good printer actually uh, Epson Stylus Photo PX650 as you see there um, it's a pretty good one it's not wireless though um, but that doesn't bother me because that's actually uh, connected into the back of the Thunderbolt display um, I've got two hard drives going in there plus the printer one um, so it's easy to have them plugged in the Thunderbolt display rather than into the Mac book so I can just take that if I want to all I've got to do is just take, take them cables out there and not mess about taking out a load of all the USB cables so they just, I just keep them plugged into the Thunderbolt display to finish off here we've got my uh, iPhone beanbag cushion thing about a couple of years ago uh, I think it's supposed to be an iPhone 4 I think an iPhone 4 or something like that um, just canvas there and another one there so just uh, looking now at the sound system um, I did have a previous sound system on here with two quite big speakers that I'd had for a number of years um, and I was looking to upgrade and just before the, this video I did upgrade um, so what I've upgraded to is this uh, Harman Kardon um, sort of PC speaker set um, this is the subwoofer here now usually I'll have this on the floor down here I mean, I've just got a box there hiding all the t cables because it's quite untidy around there um, so usually this sub would be on the floor I'll just put it on here for this for the purpose of this uh, video um, and it, the speakers are underneath it's a downward facing sub speaker so it um, gives it better sound uh, more rich rich basses and then these are the uh, it's a right hand speaker uh, that you can control the um, volume here which is touch sensitive so you just give them a touch and it controls the volume there um, and you can control the base of the sub on the back, there's a little switch on the back as well um, for that and this is obviously the, uh, let's pull that down a bit that's the left hand speaker so another speaker there, there's no volume control on that one, it's just on the right hand side speaker but uh, I instantly saw this uh, speaker set in a shop and I thought well I've got to have that because it's at a good price as well so I'll try and put a link down in the description for anybody who, who wants to look at the prices of that um, I think I got it from Curry's PC World in the, here in the UK but it's available on Amazon as well um, I think it's slightly cheaper on Amazon um, so it's probably worth, worth checking that out um, so really there we have it um, this is my desk setup for 2014 um, I'll leave sort of links in the description of various bits and bobs that I can find um, for, for you to look at if anyone wants, wants anything um, but, uh, but that's it really so um, just leave a comment and like the video and just see what, what do you think about this how can I improve it um, so that's about it guys, thanks a lot and see you soon.